Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is another simple hair growth oil recipe that you can add to your regimen for healthy hair growth. So if you're interested, you definitely want to make sure that you keep on watching. This contains only two main ingredients and those are ingredients that are very super easy to find um so yeah if you're interested to definitely make sure that you keep on watching now before we get into the video i just want to say thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber i really appreciate the support guys honestly thank you so much and if you're new here please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family if you like dmr recipes for healthy hair growth or maintenance now let's hop right into the video so the first thing we are going to need for today's recipe will be some ginger. You can get this in most grocery stores. So I'm just going to take this amount of ginger guys but feel free to, um, to use more ginger if you want to essentially. So we're just going to go ahead and cut the ginger into smaller pieces. We're not going to remove the skin because the skin contains some great vitamins as well. So don't peel off the skin. Now ginger helps to improve the circulation to the scalp and this also helps to kind of stimulate hair follicles which in turn promote healthy high growth. It also contains lots of minerals and uh, vitamins which helps to um, strengthen the hair to fight hair loss and it also helps in restoring moisture to our hair. So go ahead and cut it up into smaller pieces and just, just going to put it in a little bowl. Now this is all the ginger nice and cut just like you can see here so I'm just going to go ahead and add in some oil. So I'm using rapeseed oil, I suggest you use any oil that has a high heat point. So avocado oil, rapeseed oil, coconut oil, even grapeseed oil would be absolutely fine. Do not use olive oil guys because we're going to use direct heat for this. So add the oil and then go ahead and use your hand blender and blend it properly until you have, you know, a kind of nicely blended uh, mixture. It's kind of difficult to blend ginger really well because it's got like some little, oh, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> Let me know guys if you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's got like little hairs in it, so it's very very difficult to get it like properly smooth But do the best that you can um, So after you blend it guys until it's this kind of consistency We're gonna go ahead and pop it in a little frying pan and Then we'll be going in next with our next ingredient I decided to add just a little bit more oil just because I felt like that oil that I added earlier was not going to be enough so I added a little bit more if you've got coconut oil just like I said before guys please feel free to use that if you're not allergic to it now I just eyeball this guys don't ask me the quantity because honestly I don't know um, you can add it as much or as little as you want to so you can kind of eyeball it yourself um, next I went in with some rosemary Rosemary is also super great for regrowing bald spots or regrowing your edges just like I'm trying to do right now um, So I'm using quite a lot of rosemary at the moment So um, yeah, it does that by basically just improving the blood flow to the scalp which just brings more oxygen and nutrients to your follicles to help with hair growth So I added some rosemary to that and then just like you're seeing here I put the whole thing on a stove. I'm just going to allow it to um fry on low heat okay guys so don't use high heat so fry it for a little bit you will start to get dark like this and that's how you know that this is ready can you see the little big like the big lumps of um ginger that i've got in this that's because i did not blend it properly guys so like i said earlier blending ginger is a bit hard 
um but yeah just do the best that you can with it so after it gets dark like that take it off the stove allow it to cool down before you go ahead and strain it so for straining i'm using a recap but again feel free to use whatever works for you i was in a little bit of a rush recording this video guys so i did not let it cool down but i'll suggest you allow it to cool down please so you don't get burned okay guys i'm pretty well experienced in the kitchen so trust me i didn't get burned um but yeah please let it cool down so pop the mixture on your wick cap and just you know allow it to just drain really um because the ginger gets quite crispy you don't necessarily have to like squeeze the wick cap because the oil just naturally flows um but yeah if you feel the need to do that please do that as well so you can actually add some essential oils to this if you want to like tea tree essential oil or even peppermint essential oils are great alternatives um to help again with increasing the blood flow to the scalp tea tree also has antibacterial properties which is great again for you know getting rid of bacteria on your scalp essentially but i'm not going to add it to today's recipe but you can do so this is what the oil looks like now I'm going to show you guys how to um, apply it to your hair. Okay guys, just like I said to you at uh, the beginning of the video or somewhere along the video, I'm currently trying to regrow my edges guys and also just increase my hair thickness. As some of you guys probably know, I had a baby four months ago and I went through postnatal shedding quite recently. So my edges are pretty thin and also my hair has kind of lost a little bit of its thickness essentially. So we're trying to fix that. Um, if you're just like me, I think some of you guys actually left comments saying that you're suffering while well, you went through postnatal shedding as well. And you, it's good to know we're not, I'm, I'm not alone, we're in this together. Okay, so we'll try and get our hair back to is usual state um obviously if you haven't had a baby it's fine and you have like thin hair or just you know bald spots so you're just trying to recoil your edges in general this could be a very good thing for you as well so the way that i'm applying it just so you can see here i'm just um applying it to my edges um my scalp you know throughout my hair and what i'm making sure of is also massaging my scalp like it's so important to um also like massage your scalp on a regular basis because that just increases the blood flow to the area and again just helps with hair growth so you don't have to wash this out you can leave it in your hair and use it perhaps twice or three times a week just depending on your preference and how your hair just feels and um, yeah you will certainly see results if you're consistent with it i am pretty consistent so i'll show you guys the update when you know i do see good results if that can't make sense but anyways this brings me to the end of the video thank you so much for watching if you liked it guys please thumbs up if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one bye